G'day legends, I hope you're all having a legendary day and welcome to part 3 of Death and Taxes. Now we left off after being controlled by a cat and my last evaluation was that I was not independent enough. So I have reevaluated myself and I will show you them. I will show fate how independent I can be. I will not follow his rules anymore. You watch. So, let's start the chaos and get on with it. Let's do it. Oh, and this chick in the mirror has been talking to me too. Yes, you did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every power. Oh, wow. I like this mirror. We'll be but mere moats beside your blazing glory. Damn right. Oh, Mira. <laughs> what are you rambling about now? Nothing. I wouldn't dare say a thing. Your Majesty. I feel like she's just pampering me. Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. What, stop killing? I don't I like this chick. The dust nears. Okay, hang on, I gotta start the day off right. Yeah. Alright, what's going on over here? You guys want a bit of shaking up? There you go. Alright, fine. All right. Teacher uses clever mathematics to resolve conflicts with modern results. Oh, modest results. Oh. City budget experiences unexpected serious... Unexpected serious? Jesus Christ, where's my reading today? All right. Mmm. <clears throat> City budget experiences unexpected surplus. Politicians baffled. What about where the money is? Surprised they didn't give yourselves a pay rise. A house fire caused by faulty electrical equipment claims the life of a youth. You. A chef at local bistro frontiers disappears into wilderness. Authorities organizing a search. Probably looking for truffles or something. Leave him alone. Health issues are on the rise due to poor quality diets. The killer the cooks them. Deep ocean exploration. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Collision throws two subway trains off elevated tracks. Both operators dead. Deep ocean exploration submarine Leviathan disappears near the Coronach Trench. Wow, that was really bad there. Science teacher inspires a whole generation of youth through many loud and bothersome explosions. See, I love that chick. That chick deserves to live. Error spotted in the satellite, which could have caused it to crash. It's now slated to reach orbit successfully this week. Oh, the irony! Arda serves, survives getting mauled by a bear while on the run. Damn. They're gonna draw something, that's only for sure. Alright, what have you got? Congrats, Grim! You passed the performance review as expected, but let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the future. This will be a tough day. Be attentive. Quota for today. Six humans have to die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least five... At least three humans with scientific background have to die. At least two humans aged or younger have to die. Oh dear god. So, my whole plan was just to do the opposite. It's gonna be... Big brain time to do the opposite, cause... Uh, Alright. Let's put you over here. Total of six humans have to die, so six humans get to live. And three humans with something other than a scientific background. I need to pick another two to live. Um, you're an inmate, so you can live. I'll read their bios in a sec. And a fraud CEO can live. Okay. So the two people that are dying are... Oh, that was a bit undramatic. Ah, Gerald? Gerard? A stonecutter. He cuts and cuts stone blocks out of stone at the local quarry. That's basically it. There's very little, very little else going on in their lives. Their dream is to visit some of the highest mountains in the world and maybe cut a tiny chunk of stone out of those too. Oh, well, I'm glad you're dying. That's boring. 
literary critic. Oh god, he can die because he would totally criticise me. When the adolescent Henry poked a fellow student with a pen, they realised from that moment onwards that their best friends will only be found on the pages of books, as these friends cannot be directly poked with pens. Well, I mean, technically they could, if you think about it. You're poking the words, and the words make up the person. The person is the words, and if you poke the words with the pen, you are poking the person. Alright, and so you guys live. So we have a butcher. Kia, butcher of humans. Never thought they'd have the stomach for chopping up meat. Turns out the trick was to disassociate them and have sharp knives. That right there is a serial killer waiting to happen. Oh, sure. They tend to be slightly hasty and wasteful when handling their product. On the weekends, does a street circus act that involves a knife struggling. So you get to live, for sure. Alright. Mint. 20. Gang member. Mint comes from an abusive family which ultimately made them very protective of their older sister. Mint would do anything to keep her safe. As such, they have allied with the toughest crime boss in the district, who takes good care of their own. Broad CEO. Charlie has been helping their brother Albert hide corporate money and avoid paying taxes for years. Perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of insider trading and other forging activities. They currently live in a mansion outside of town. So far, we're picking the best of the lot to live. Asteroid Hunter. What began as constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Zara's main goal is to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet and alert the asteroid destroyer unit in the military. Perfect. <laughs> Geneticist. Nija is secretly researching the genetical combining of plants and animals in addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis and sunflowers with ears. Wait, what? Huh. Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, they also dream of a pet hedgehog with an actual hedge instead of spines. Uh, d d God, this chick is going to create some abomination. Love it. You can live. All right. Niji is currently incarcerated at the local jail for producing hard drugs at the organic synthesis lab. Hey, at least he's organic. All natural. They still dream of finishing their degree program after getting out of jail. He now wishes to be a diplomat as they are constantly negotiating gang deals in jail and surviving. Oh, I love it. You get to live. We have picked the best of the best to live. You live. It's okay. Okay, now I have to do that again before we finish the day. Oh, it's beautiful. And go. Hi, fidget spinner. Bye, squeaky. All right, fate. You're going to be so proud of me. I was independent. Good evening, Grim. I am doing well. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week? On your own. Um, I did pretty good. Just papers. Did you forget him again? You have marked fewer deaths than required. Ah, uh, I'm being independent. I really hope you would avoid such errors by now. No, I am instead particular to this game called Go. Aesthetically pleasing, less violent than. You want me to go? No, we're done. Until tomorrow. No, we're done. Good night. Let's start the day. Shake you guys up a bit. Oh god, you're all nearly dead in there. Piss us. Alright, let's see. Critic dies from blood poisoning after accidentally stabbing themselves with pen. What the hell, you idiot? Miniature fast breeding hedgehogs with poisonous spines are eating everything. Dear God. Big money corruption in politics. We need lobbying, financing, reform now. Huge amounts of triple MA just came out of nowhere. Stone cutter crushed in an avalanche during a skiing vacation. AI breakthrough and imminent, promises founder of Transglobal Inc. Big asteroid alert. It's coming for us. Is it D-Day? I didn't want the pen, I wanted that. 
Alright, how about we try out some brand new methods of strengthening the equivalent. I have great faith in these techniques of a more structural nature. Quote of the day. Total of two humans have to die. Humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle must die. What? I mean, you want these two here to die. Um, you live, you live. Caleb, 30, junior researcher. Right after graduation, Caleb went to work at the Asadia Institution where they've been researching strange experimental pathogens. The goal is to achieve a potential breakthrough in he human cell regeneration. That means the humans can't die. I can't have that. I need them to die. It is a pretty dangerous job as it often involves the use of very sharp instruments. Die. David, 34, IT architect. David is the founder of a trans... Oh my god, that's the guy from the phone. Where was it? AI breakthrough imminent. Oh man, if I kill him off then there won't be a... Oh man, for the past five years David has been at the foremost prominent of algorithms and AI research. I don't want you to live because I want the AIs to take over the world. So, one of you two have to die. You get to live. Alright. Ameo, astronaut, inspired by playing Space Intruder, <laughs> Space Invader, a lot as a kid, he decided to join the Earth Defense Unit as an astronaut. A dangerous asteroid has been located for the first time after their training and they must now land on its surface and blow it up. <gasps> you die! God, the astronaut might hit the Earth. Oh, wait, 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 you're in the dive pile. Alright, liaison officer. Jade is communications coordinator at the Home Guard, mainly focused on disaster management. They live alone with two cats and a hamster due to not being particularly interested in finding a partner. Oh. Um. Well, I kind of don't want anybody to communicate any disaster, and I don't want you to be there for the disaster. So, you guys die and you live because I want. Kind of, what the hell is going on over here? The whole place is on fire while we finish the day. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> time me. for the daily feedback. It's time for daily feedback. Ah, you have marked more profiles than necessary. No choice but to log a reprimand. It is already your third week here. I do not understand how this keeps happening. It's only the second day. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberation. Oh, wait, wait, before we start the day. And what the hell is going on over here? Wow, you guys are seriously... You know, everything's fine. All right, young research dead from a yet to be identified pathogen. Doctors are puzzled. Researchers find numerous backdoors in Trans Global Inc. produce products, granting access to any number of unknown parties. God damn it, I wanted to. Skynet. Most of asteroid blown off course. Small piece still impacts the ocean. God damn it. I don't want to fall asleep. Last words heard from Hira astronaut who blew up asteroid. Nation mourns. Oh, Category EC4 tornado strikes. Cosmodrome <laughs> lays waste to home guard headquarters, killing several. Oh. All right. Your performance of late implies you've been a bit over motivated, far too eager to recoup the number of humans. We'll try another new structural method. You'll be required to demonstrate utmost precision. All humans in the bottom row have to die. Keep the cast away, will you? Nope. All right. So he wants you three to die. Alright, so you guys get to live. So what are you? IT secretary. Security. Zia spends most of her time at work rep reprimanding everybody in their free time. We're <laughs> developing a quantum firewall hoping that this piece of technology will help them get rich and go down in history. It also means they can stop yelling at people due to bad words. Live. Email scammer. Rico has built a fully automated spam bot sending thousands of emails a day offering people riches beyond their wildest dreams to numbers games so they succeed from time to time. So, you're really helping people get rich. See, that guy's a helper. He should live. 
is a rising star, star in the culinary world. Vicariously executing executing the head chefs with will with Whoa. And a brass mouth. The workers have daydreams of their tragic demise. Well you live then, because you're like Gordon Ramsay, right? And Gordon Ramsay's like the most famous chef, so that'll be you. Alright, so this is the live pile, this is the die pile. Alright, downtown driver, they are pulling double shifts to save money for opening a small vegan muffin shop. Ugh. They can barely make it to the bathroom or eat during their breaks. When they get home, they're clutching this all. I'm putting you out of your misery, mate. I'm putting you out of your misery. Bruno. Bruno is a mercenary, always ready to work for the highest bidder. They're currently stationed at Faraden with a government contract providing security services. They act tough and gung ho to cover up the fact that they haven't been trained properly. <laughs> To properly act in a combat zone. Oh, you tough me. You get to live. <laughs> Raven is enjoying a moderately successful career as a deadlifter. They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Myra. In their spare time, they like going hiking and camping. Myra is constantly inspired by Raven's determination, wishes to continue in their field. You do. That's boring. Industrial chemist has been working at the pharmaceutical industry for decades trying to find a decelerator for aging while lately it seems that the discovery might actually come from biogenics um you're certain that they can concoct some sort of chemical and compound but if you don't age i don't have a job because you don't die so therefore you die and you guys can live love it yes please Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Yes, I want to hear well, your review on me. Important to you. Yes. It seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. What? No, I didn't. I did the opposite. Ah. Now depart. I God. have things to contemplate. Damn it. Hey, awesome. All right. I need some squeakiness to make me happy. Mm. All right, let's check the phones. Chemists uses experimental anti-aging drugs on themselves. Grows younger until finally ceases to exist. God, that'd be horrible. Government to seek the ban of dangerous de-aging research. Single mother lost in fatal car crash. Mercenary squad blows up museum full of historical documents and artifacts. Anti-war senator demands why are they their unqualified mercs running around in conflict zones committing war crimes. Downtown traffic disrupted in a massive pileup. The new age of digital security is upon us. Meet the quantum firewall. Please send us your credit card if info if it is rich as you just <gasps> Oh, take it! I want riches. Um, do I have a credit card in here somewhere? Yeah, I got money. Take that. Here, here's some money. Give me all the riches. Restaurant staff in revolt against authoritarian sous chef. <laughs> I love it. Alright, life should not be too predictable, don't you agree? We could use a little bit of alteration and alteration every so often. I have developed just a thing for it. Every other profile has to die. Anson loves a sin and he's committed to performing all the four deadly scenes daily. They live in a cave outside the city avoiding law enforcement. He lives. Garnet loves photography, hiking, painting and visual journaling. They are just diagnosed as bipolar and have managed to figure out a way to deal with it. As such, they are mostly happy. Garnet often volunteers at a local art gallery. You're too good, you die. Vivian works. <clears throat> Vivian works with children with learning disabilities and help them learn musical instruments. They also sing in a choir at home. Vivian takes care of their four wonderful cats. Ah, oh, damn it, you're good too. Before Amandus took over the Daily Moon, the newspaper was in decline. With ruthless determination, they turned that paper into the tabloid powerhouse we know today. While recklessly digging through the lives of others, they've used the paper to suppress rumours about themselves. That one can go. Kiji have made a fortune with their protein bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard-earned fortune on helping the community supplying the improvised regions with free potato plants and helping them become... No! You're too good. Die. Achak co-owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack. Although they comply with environmental regulations on paper, they occasionally clear protected habitats by mistake. Destroying homes of thousands of endangered birds live. 
Chloe is constantly training to conquer the Rockworm Peak by free climbing the full height of it for charity. Charity? Yeah. Lee is a beloved housekeeper for a traditional household. After the last owner perished, they just stayed put and the next family accepted them with open arms. Lee is also secretly housing their, a social spouse in a secret room in the attic. They're deathly allergic to nuts. <sighs> There's way too many good people here, though. Did you live? I hope so, yeah. And you can live. Come on. Alright. No, 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 I don't want to confirm choices yet, because... Okay. <laughs> what you up to, killer? Oh, I don't know. Just killing people. What now? The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Um... Count? 36. Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. I'm with you. What is up your butt? Reaper. What are you jealous of me? Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. Oh. I shall compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Cool, can I read Certainly, it? Certainly. Once it is finished. You will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Can I ha can can I have a signed copy? Anyway, we have some official business to take care of. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, tedium of profiles. Yes. Alas, you have marked more deaths than necessary. Well, technically, I did every other profile. A reprimand will be noted down. Let not your attention be diverted from the tasks at hand. Be attentive. He sounded cranky then. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right, what's going on? Local teacher found dead at home where the cats had been nibbling on her. Jesus Christ. Rockworm Pete claims another victim. Climber's charity of choice gets massing amount of support. God damn it. Local art gallery shuts down. Logging company accused of destroying yet another hawk habitat. Everything was done by the books. Ah, uh, he accidentally did it. Peanut allergy claims another life. Investigate suspicious of oh, it was the husband, wasn't it? It totally was. Ghastly smell leads investigators to find an old smell, old small dead person in a mansion attic. Oh, the husband died. Freaking hell! Another young adult harassed by a mysterious person. Ooh, what's that? The use of today, immoral and lazy, we should reinstate harsher punishments. Sitting at an all time high, CEO of what what social media platforms planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. I wonder if we can burn that down. I'll keep this short. There are too many deaths yesterday. I'm suspecting a systematic bias in our balancing methodology. Quotation, the last three humans coming from the facts have to die. But I didn't even see who they were. Is that these three? All right, security gap. Darius really messed up their local grocery store security job, which is why they now guard a hill of dirt at a construction site. At night, they keep hearing odd sounds and seeing bizarre visions, but no one believes them. To avoid getting fired, they decided to keep quiet about the strange things in the night. You live. Easy done. Dahlia paints nudes and nudes only. For some reason, these paintings don't sell well, and they've been playing around with the idea of pivoting into a life of sin after being inspired by a prominent sinner, Anson. Ah. Uh, you live. <laughs> a disciple of sin, here we go. A Saiyan started off as a devotee of Anson, the initial sinner, but quickly grew belligerent and took off to demonstrate how actual proper sinning should be done. Anson sinning just didn't seem good enough to him. You live. I know, I know. Microbrewer and bartender. Sigmund lives together with their artist girlfriend. They liked craft beer and biking. Sigmund's brew was voted the best local craft beer of the year twice. Um, okay. You guys. Sari manages a big software development project at Glamazon. Although they have zero idea how software development works. The uncle, the CEO, sees a bright future for him. Yeah. Legitimate. What the hell's going on over there? The flags burnt down and everything. 
Hey, look, you want to play the squeaky toy? A legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider, consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Ferriden region. Live. Okay. You're a charismatic opinion leader among their peers. They use these characters to fit campaigns to think they're right. They stop with reducing the use of plastics, banning beta shorts, and stopping Enervec. Well, you die. Lastly, you're pretty cute. I mean, you, you. I mean, you craft beer. You, you're, you're just. Like, I know I'm killing the betterment of the society people, but I mean, beer is. Don't touch the Arkham holes, you know. Oh no way. Grim, uh, why are you here? Um. Oh. Right. The daily... Ugh. Always in positions when I have important research to perform. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we, um, disturbing you? You know, yeah, from your job? Let's get on with it. I see fewer profiles than required. Bad job, I guess. But he doesn't even believe I did a bad job. Yes. That should suffice, I imagine? Questions? Not in the sense that humans consider it. No. What? What if the Afterlife is a dating game where you must charm strange monstrous gods? Grim. <laughs> yeah, what? That is just stupid. But to be funny as hell. Any other questions? Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. First of all. And fine. Local tech company Glamazon under fire after an app reporting election results leaks voter data. Ooh. Historians warn artifact looting on the rise, especially in formerly war torn Faradin. We have to do something about the looting that's re escalating the conflict. Anti beige shorts animus still simmering in the background even after death of front leader. Hmm. Local brewer wins the best beer of the year. Aww. A new modern painting expedition, Pictures of Happiness. Is that the naked chick? Sinning levels keep rising. We're heading towards a syntastrophe. <laughs> Local artist has gone rogue, keeps graffitiing nude fingers all over the city. Oh, okay, wrong one then. <laughs> Reports just coming in. It seems a hostage situation may be taking place at the courthouse. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta read this first. I sensed an Hiladugu Wolf of Air passed through my office earlier. An imbalance has resolved of the far too many you spare grim. We could not determine the correct amount of humans to mark today, so leave it up to you. More accurately than yesterday, yeah? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, alright, so. What did he say? Oh, whoever seems suspicious. My was recently appointed into the urban planning department, something they'd been aiming at for a while. Turns out they're colluding with a number of their real estate friends in order to profit off city redevelopment, receiving kickbacks on many... Okay, housing deals? You live. Stay-at-home parent. Rufa enjoys spending all their days at home caring for their three kids. Recently, they agreed to become a surrogate for the same sex couple. Another perk of being a stay-at-home parent for Rifa is the possibility to play Planet of Peacecraft at any free time. Mm, maybe. Jonah leads to an inviolable life of immoral integrity. They have it figured out. In their prime, they enjoy the fruits of their well-established position when not engaged in upholding the law that dabble in a vineyard which started as an elaborate joke related to their name. You die. Digital sports commentator Alejandro is well regarded due to their mesmerizing voice, quick wit and hot, some say spicy, takes. They also express themselves through cosplaying as their favorite video game and television show characters. Alejandro is addicted to painkillers. Maybe. Sansuke is a lonely person going through a rough patch in life and have thus become much sloppier when it comes to checking if new hires are trained on food preparation and proper kitchen safety techniques. They've got better things to think about. Besides, what could go wrong? You... Wait, which one was dying? Oh wait, yeah, you live. You live. Oh, these guys are the maybes. And then you two can die. 
Yeah, you guys are pretty suspicious to me. You want to confirm? I certainly do. Oh, no. No. Please don't tell me the cat's in... You're so cute. Oh, God. Ha ha, grim, jolly good. You're absent, As yes. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. Okay. Wondering about the nature of vacations in our profession. Well, those of the highest management only. Of course. I mean, it is not as if you need one. Technically, you are just an amalgamation of ingredients. You are not even alive. Uh, yes I am. But what of the conduct overview? You may be thinking. Yeah. To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done well enough. All right. Put some money into here. Look at all my money. Hang on. Yep, love it. All right, what happened on the phone today? <sighs> Major outbreak of salmonella hits Cosmopolis. Cosmopolis city. Cosmopolis city. Cosmopolitan city. Hmm. Hundreds infected. Respected judge gunned down during a hostage crisis at the local cold house. Oh, I could have saved him. Oh, well. Multiple neighborhoods have already close to impoverished people thrown out of their homes in the name of innovative urban renovation. Fighting game developers Toolshed announced a new league for upcoming Grand Reaper 5. Oh. That'll be good. Alright, I've been informed of a delicate situation. I trust that you can handle it. Five humans have to die, one must be spared. Be careful to let the right person live. Jerry's a creepy kidnapper, there's no way around that. The latest plan is ambling near stadiums wearing cute mascot outfits and swiping kids who want to take a photo. Hasn't really worked thus far because of crowds, but when it will, they'll. Demand a substantial ransom. Hang on a second. You're swiping kids. Kids. If it wasn't, if you were swiping like adults, I'd be okay with that. Not kids. You die. Okay, restaurant note. Got munchies of sh for shark fin, but can't find any. Not if Louis is near. They're a big fan of shark fin and other questionable foods like turtle jelly, which Louis has served in their restaurant for a day. Turtle jelly? What the hell is that? You live. Father of Six has won the championship title for Grand Reaper eight times, making them the prevailing world best. After retiring due to age, they have pivoted towards tournament commentary and coaching new players. Well, you die. A nanny for the somewhat well off middle class. That's what Juto came to the city for with initial one year con. Then saw a decent way with a decent way to escape their reconstruction era home country. It's a nice adventure when you're young at least. Okay, white collar criminal. You live. And regular embezzlement after their multi level marketing scheme fail. The beauty products and cognitive enhancers were just not selling. All this to pay off their mortgage and to keep their children in decent school. Oh look, you make claymation. You live. Alright, Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves her job very much. Not so much because of the bringing of justice, but because their political power the position brings. Hey, you live. Oh, no, no, no. That's better. The loud and unbearable noise of conflict. The turmoil of a thousand different desires, taken through violence, entitlement, and toxic self-fulfillment. How do you feel, Grand Reaper? Well, <laughs> I feel pretty grand. I feel empty, I feel disgust, I feel guilt. What? That doesn't... I'm so it's empty. Oh look, you can make more clouds. It's like it's fun. It's a, a cloud of farts. <laughs> I feel empty. Master of distress. Who knew you were so apathetic? I thought she was about to call me pathetic. It's like you be out. Nevertheless, it's important to learn. But I like killing people. Ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Are you killing people? Because that is what I do on my days off. Yes, you expect your daily summary. But I still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. Okay. So off you go. Uh, okay. I feel like everything's in disarray over here. Bags of sickly meat and brittle bone cease to exist. 
collapsed into a pile of bone meal and bubbling innards juice. Is she the voice in my head? A new, better human being. What type of human being? Much more capable of living. Unburdened by weak spindly ligaments and fragile respiratory systems. Are you like an alien? You can dream or I've seen it too. Oh. Obviously. It's an image that raises more questions. <gasps> she is in my head. You imagine a golden trim to a rotten shack. Yeah, I do like the gold trim. We know more things under the stars than a reaper yet to open their eyes. But my eyes are open. Be seeing you. I'll see you too. Weird, creepy shit. Hmm, hello, Grim. Hang on, before we do anything. Um. Yeah, everything seems fine in there. Alright, fine time. Local shark population drops to a dangerous level. Are tasty creatures destined to go extinct? Judge rules to allow a severely ill environmentalist to die peacefully. Or yet to be identified, people arrested in a major embezzlement scandal related to Transglobal Inc. Oh. Hmm, unknown mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the stay. Stadium officials confused. Black holes set to end all life. <gasps> Can I make a black hole? Another family in poverty after joining a multi level marketing scheme. Hmm, chaos am I starting? Ah, it is. It is as if a great calmness enveloped the world. I do not see the need for many deaths today. Two humans have to die. And you die. And you die. And you die. And you die. How's that there, Mr. Fate? Wait, wait, wait. And you all die. How's that? Done. I am just... I'm decisive. Grim? Yes. Okay, listen. You are not supposed to mark every profile to death. You oh! I, I thought that was the whole point of death and tax... You know, death, you know? All oh, our choices have serious consequences. Why would you do this? Um, it felt like the right thing to I do. I'm pretty sure that is not your decision. In fact, I know it is not your decision. It is mine. What do you mean? I know it is not easy making these decisions. But that is If you're I the one think. making the decisions, then what is Trust the point me, of my job? And I will guide you. You're not guiding Understood? me. I hope we will not have to repeat this discussion in the future. Good night, Grim. Hi. Right, that is another week down in my job as Grim. So I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you so much for hanging out. And I do hope you enjoy. And let me know if you liked it. And let me know if you want to see anything else. I will see you guys for the next one.